In honour of Mental Health Week, today we're going to look at some facts about mental illness in Australia. A huge thanks to mental illness charity Sane Australia for the information contained in today's video. Fact 1. 45% of Australians will experience a mental illness during their lifetime. This statistic covers anxiety, mood disorders and personality disorders in people aged 16 to 85, so it's likely that the actual number is much higher once other disorders and age ranges are catered for. Fact 2. Anyone could be affected by mental illness, but some groups are at higher risk than others. LGBTIAQ people are at a higher risk than the general population for mental illness and are also the most at-risk group for suicide. Organisations like Switchboard Australia cater specifically to the queer community. Indigenous Australians experience much higher rates of psychological distress than the general population. They can also have more difficulty accessing services. Former AFL footballer Adam Goods has spoken publicly about his struggles with mental health. He spoke to Ando about the racism he experienced in the final year of his AFL career and the toll it took on him. Let's take a look. You know, I don't just go out there every single day beating my chest about racism, because that's a tough issue, mate. I've dealt with it. It's hard to talk about. We deal with it every day as Indigenous people. Ask any minority in this country, they've got stories of racism themselves. It's there, it's alive, it happens. But let's be part of the process that's helping change that. Let's keep having the conversations, because when you're part of the conversations and you're wanting to do something about it, there's hope, there's a way forward. Fact three, there's more than one way to treat mental illness. Every person is different, and treatment can include a variety of things. Medication, psychological therapy, community support, and people with mental illness helping themselves. This can include things like eating well, getting plenty of sleep, and exercising regularly. Fact four, men are less likely to seek help. 65% of people experiencing mental illness symptoms don't seek professional help. 40% of women get help, but less than 30% of men do. Fact five, being connected with others and part of a community can have a positive effect on mental health. One American study showed that connecting with other people socially can decrease the effects of depression and anxiety. Another study looked at the happiness of over 4,000 people for a period of 20 years to see if the happiness of a person could spread to their social group. They found that people's happiness depends on the happiness of others with whom they are connected. What this tells us is that whether or not you're one of the 20% of Australian adults who are currently dealing with mental illness, the way that we support each other and our community has a huge impact on mental health. Organisations like Beyond Blue, Black Dog Institute and Sane Australia have lots of information online about how to support someone who is affected by mental illness. From how to start a conversation about how someone is feeling, to creating a safety plan when someone is experiencing an acute mental health crisis. Together, we can all make the world a better place for people who are dealing with mental illness. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental illness, you can get support from Lifeline Australia 131114 or on any of the contact details on screen now.